Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. Happy 11, 12, 13. 11 the month, 12 is the day, 13 is the year. It's my second channel, daily blog channel, coming to you from a little retirement area. See these houses? Little houses have been created and built since the olden days. But what used to be here in Bradenton, Florida, which is where I'm at right now, I just got here a little bit ago. I will be here for a couple of days in the South Tampa, Florida, Bradenton area. This used to be the home of Dr. Joseph Braden. I don't know if he has anything to do with the name of the town being Bradenton, Braden Town, but Joctor, Joctor, not Joctor. He wasn't a Joctor. <laughs> he was not a doctor who was a jockey. That would make him a Joctor. He was not that. He was a legit doctor who resided here he had what some, some people perceived to be a castle, a mansion, a beautiful creation created by man that was destroyed by fire in 1900 in his castle. The remnants of his castle are right there. So let's get out and take a look. I'm not really sure if I should get out. I've gotten some very unusual looks by walkers walking by bike riders, people in their golf carts, wondering why I'm in this residential area. There goes one now. There went a woman on her bike giving me a weird, mean mugging me. Okay, we're going to get out of the car really quick, and I'm going to show you the remnants of the Braden Castle. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We're doing this. Here comes a car, here comes a car. Right here, right here is the remnants of the Braden Castle ruins. Look at this, the Braden Castle ruins. The only thing separating me from the castle ruins is this fence, and there's a historical marker right here. The Great Seal of Florida. The Braden Castle ruins, right there. Right there, that's awesome. You can see all the people walking around, the people of this residence. There's what it used to look like. Look at that. That's the past. This is the present. And this is the more current present. So this is the pre-present, and that's the past. Okay, so this is the past. This is remnants of the past. And this is the present. This, this is more of the present. And I've got a present for you. I just don't know what it is yet because I haven't bought it yet for you. But one of these days, I'm going to get you a present. But disregard the present. And let's take a closer look here at the Braden Castle Ruins. I probably should read the sign. Dr. Joseph Addison Braden. This was his castle. A large two-story structure. The walls were poured tabby Composed of lime. Pretty cool. A fire in 1903. Pretty cool. Ah, brochure's here. I'm doing a little video. Thank you very much for your info. Excellent. Okay, thank you very much for the info. So that kind gentleman let me know that there was brochures. So I'm looking at the brochures now. He said there used to be just all weeds in here. There's no more weeds. The residents of this nice little area have cleaned this out and made it to where you can actually visually see it, which is awesome because you're visually seeing this through me, through you, vicariously. That gentleman and the residents of this fine area have given us a brochure and made it visible, removed the weeds. This has been like this since 1903. That's pretty cool. I'm going to look over this later. I'm going to put it in my back pocket, and I'm going to continue this vlog blog. It almost looks like it's some sort of a coral based. You can see some of the coral in here as well as some seashells. There's a piece of wood there. That might have been a walkway up into a room. So just think of a massive two-story building that used to reside right here on this property. 
way before all these homes arrived. So basically this castle was the only thing here. Dr. Joseph Braden. Leave some comments down below if you think Dr. Joseph Braden had anything to do with the name of Bradenton or Bradentown. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not curious. I am curious. I'm not sure, but I am curious. I'm having very trouble talking today because I'm still a little weirded out in this area. There's people all around looking from their porches, honing in on me, wondering what I'm doing. That guy was pretty nice, but some of the looks I've been getting from the other people out here, I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable. I'm confused. Very, very confused right now. Back to the subject matter at hand. The Braden Ruins. This is pretty cool. Like I was saying, I'm going to be in this area for a couple days. If you're in this area or you have any ideas, make sure you hit me up on the social networks, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. Those are the easiest places to get a hold of me. Or you can leave some comments down below. I always love reading the comments posted down below here on the Daily Woo. I'd really love to turn that on, but those people back there are watching me like a hawk. The last thing I want to do is try to check the water. I really don't want to check the water. Normally I check the water, but I'm telling you, there's people peeping out their windows. Not at this. They're not curious about what we're curious about. They're curious about me. Not about you. You're off the hook on this one. They're curious about me and why my gray van is parked right there in a non parking area. There's no parking signs up, which is weird because this is a historical area, yet there's signs saying no parking. Where am I supposed to park? I do have a brochure. Maybe somewhere in the brochure it says something about the parking area out here. So if you've ever been out here, leave some comments down below. I want to know what you think about this fantastic area and what other fantastic things are around the South Tampa Bradenton area. Hope you guys have a great day. It's the daily. Oh, I want to let you know something else. Also, adamthewoo.spreadshirt.com, which you can find the link down below. For the next couple days, they're having a sale, 20% off every t-shirt I have, the Join Me Shall You, the Heck It t-shirts. You can go over there. Once you get to the shopping cart, before you check out, you can type in the code. I'm trying to remember the code, what it was. Oh, yeah. Early 20. E-A-R-L-Y 20. Just type that in, and you will automatically get 20% off of any t-shirt which is pretty fantastic. Just want to throw that in there. Check down below again for my t-shirts, also other social network sites. All the links are down below. I've also started posting videos where I was last year. I've been doing these videos for like a year and a half, these daily videos. So I've actually started to put the link down below for the exact place I was one year ago today. You can find that link down below. Also, make sure you subscribe up here and up here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day from Bradenton, Florida. Let me, give you a Let me give you one last look of this tree. Pretty cool. There's actually a little lighthouse over there, like a little lighthouse thing. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye now. I'm going to say goodbye to those fine folks who gave me the info about the flyer. I probably should have read the flyer in the pamphlet before I did some information about this, but that's the beauty of these vlogs, is not knowing anything and getting you guys to help me with the research. And me researching, I learn through you, you learn through me. It's a vicarious bucket of goodness. <laughs> have a great day. Goodbye.